water temperature's gone up from what it used to be. It used to be 48 to 52. Now it runs between 52 and 56. The impact that you're going to see is that there's no kelp. You don't hardly see any kelp out here. This should be, this time of year, should be just covered with kelp. All, this should be just matted in with it. But the water temperature is so warm that it's affecting the kelp production. Any other effects that you well, know? Well, that in effect is, is, is affecting the abalone because the abalone eat kelp. That's what they survive on. And so what you'll see now is the abalone, the meat on them isn't as big because they're actually starving. So it's, wow. you know, this whole thing about uh, climate change, yeah, I think they, you know, uh, you, uh, it's real. I don't care what people, you know, you hear these guys talk sometimes and say it's not real, but three years in a row, we've had no kelp here. You're eating the abalone, so I assume you're aware that uh, there's no radiation or there is radiation no, uh, you, you're referring to uh, Fukushima yeah no uh, they've had some things wash up on shore buoys and stuff that have had slight red uh, stuff you're, you know from it but no there's no it's not everything that came out of that the ocean absorbed they've done testing and everything we had starfish just everywhere and then we had a what they call a uh, they call it a bloom right in fact that's why crab season was put off so long last yeah. year right mm -hmm. and, and that stuff you know it affects everything it affects everything so that's not fukushima related the no. crab the uh, starfish thing okay no. I, I, to me it's all water temperature no can blame that on where that's coming from but you know carbon dioxide or whatever it is whatever it is we're doing to the planet but okay if, if, if it continues it the same way that it's going now they'll be closing abalone completely in the state i mean it's, it's you know will the abalone have to move northward uh, the abalone will have to follow the kelp wherever the kelp is at that's what they'll follow okay a lot of times i dive around the corner here and uh Usually, like I said, it's big rafts of kelp. And so you'd swim out into the kelp offshore 100 yards or so, and there'd be abalone all over the place. Now you go to the same spot, and all the abalone, there's no kelp far out, so all the abalone have moved right up in on shore. And I've been diving here for how long? A couple of decades. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you know. You're what I call an expert. Yeah, well, oh, okay. I don't know about that, but I enjoy doing it. I'm, I'm getting ready to go ab diving. So this is a float. What will happen when you go out and you get you pop your abalone off the uh, off the rock with the with the, this is called an ab bar. An ab bar, uh, abalone is basically a snail, a giant sized snail. There's a foot on the bottom of it and a shell on the top. So it sits on the rock like this. You have the ab iron underneath it and you pull up, and the ab abalone flops right off. And you just take it, it's got to be seven inches for a red. See, so before I put it in the bag, I will measure it to make sure the shell is seven inches. And then if it's uh, seven inches, then I put it, put it in the bag and I'm done. If it's short, meaning it's smaller than seven inches, won't fit from that slot to there, then I have to take it back and put it on the same rock that I got it. And it's not a hurt, doesn't hurt them to well, pop them off. See, the or... problem, uh, abalone or hemophiliacs, I guess that's how you describe it. That's why I was showing you, when you pop the abalone, you go up like this so that it, the, the bar hits on the edge of the shell and you don't cut the foot, because if you cut the foot, it bleeds out and dies. So, okay. in essence, you don't want to shop for abalone. The first three that you take off that are legal, you're supposed to take and that's what you do. Well, good luck on your hunt. Yeah. What, is it a hunt or a fish? Or a... I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Gathering. Gathering. gathering oh, okay. Right. See you later. Thanks, Bill.
go. Alright. Now you slide after. Come on, slide after it. Alright. There he goes. Woo. That was a bad idea. <laughs> What's your doggy's name? Chase. Chase? Okay, he's a and he likes the water. Yes. Does he like fish? Not so much. Not so much. <laughs> it's all the hunt. Aww.